Hello guys, this is JNM and in this video I want to answer a request on how to fill a drop-down in Unity with C Sharp. This is the default scene in Unity 2019 and the first thing I do is to add the drop-down. I right-click in the hierarchy and choose UI drop-down. Ok, here we have it and the canvas is created automatically. The drop-down has items, they are called Options and each option has a text and a sprite. When I start the game, you can see these options in the drop-down. What I also want to show is how to react in the C-Sharp script when an option is selected. To show the selected option, I add a text field. For this I increase the font size and align it to the center. But as I said we want to fill the drop-down dynamically using a C Sharp script, so I go ahead and delete all the options from the drop-down. Ok, now comes the programming part. I add a folder for the scripts and then add a C Sharp script to this folder. The script I call Drop Down Handler. After that, I assign the script to the drop down and then open it in my default code editor Visual Studio 2019. Ok, here's the class, the drop-down handler. And first of all, I need a public variable that I can assign from outside the script to the text field to show the current selection of the drop-down. In the start method, I get the drop-down component from the transform. Then you can clear all the options to be on the safe side if there are any. And then I create a list of strings that contain some sample items for the drop-down. In a real-world example, these items could come from a different component or there's a public add method to add these items dynamically from outside the script. To add these items to the options, I loop over them in a for each loop and then add each item to the options of the drop-down as options data. In the next part, I register a value change listener for the dropdown, which I call dropdown item selected. This is a delegate, a method that is invoked when the value of the dropdown has changed. And in this method, I get the current text of the dropdown and assign it to the text of the text field. And that's basically it. The only thing left to do is to call the method dropdown item selected explicitly in the start method so that the text for the first item is displayed in the text field when the game starts. So let's go ahead and start the game so that we can see the dropdown in action. You see, the first item is displayed in the text field and the drop-down is filled with the items of the list. Ok guys, I hope it was understandable and you learned something. If you do, then don't forget to subscribe to my channel if you haven't already. Follow me on my Instagram, Facebook, Twitter. Support me as my patron, this would really be great. And yeah, if you have any questions, add these to the comments. And I'll see you soon here on JNM.